We often tell our clients when they call us and they're accused of a serious sex crime that if they had a medical problem, God forbid, like a brain tumor, they wouldn't go to a dermatologist. They would go to a brain tumor specialist. If you're accused of a crime like a sexual abuse crime, you would only want to go to a lawyer that has years of experience and training helping people win sexual abuse cases. It's really common sense, but unfortunately a lot of people do not understand that and they end up hiring a lawyer that's not adequately experienced. Then they come to Wallen and Clarich and we have to pick up the pieces. It's so much better to hire us from the beginning so you, we can defend you successfully from day one. The dynamics of a sex crime are very different than any other type of crime. You're dealing with minors and you're dealing with psychology and sometimes you're dealing with physical evidence. There could be vaginal tearing or scarring or anal tearing or scarring or some physical evidence that might be considered consistent with molestation. So that lawyer needs to be familiar not only with the physical evidence but if there's any psychological evidence that might be admissible because when you get your client a psychological evaluation from a doctor, that doctor can testify in court that my client does not fit the sexual profile of someone having an abnormal or an unnatural sexual interest in children. That could be very relevant in court to convince the jury. In fact, that in of itself can be enough for a reasonable doubt. But that lawyer who you hire for a sex crime must have experience in this specific area of law, in my opinion, because it's a specialty within a specialty of criminal law.